Hi, everybody. Welcome to Coach Playbook with Paul Lapolice, your home for elite CFL breakdown and analysis. Toronto Argonauts defense last week. I wanted to watch what they did against the BC Lions. Let's go through some stats first. 222 yards of total offense for the BC Lions, a very good offense, one of the tops in the CFL, only 52% completion. And the big number is they sacked the quarterbacks for the BC Lions seven times. Uh, talented defensive front. We're going to break down those sacks and take a look from the end zone coaches copy. Uh, congratulations, Demetrius Maxey, Willie Fields, Kevin Ivan had a really good game plan. Robbie Smith had two sacks. Jake Serezna had one. Derek Parrish had one. And Ralph Hawley had three himself. Before I go, please subscribe to the page. Turn notifications on. It's going to help alert you as we post new stuff, and it helps support the page by subscribing to us. So let's open the playbook on the Toronto Argonauts defensive sacks. Let's teach from the end zone today because we're talking protections. So identify the front. That's the rush. That's the nose. That's the quick end, All right? We're going to call that the middle linebacker. I'm going to call Flo the joker. And I know he's a defensive end, but as you identify, when teams try to play the smaller defensive ends as like an outside linebacker or an inside linebacker, you usually denote him like this is what you would call an odd defense because you have stand-up linebackers. Just Flo's playing a linebacker. Okay, how did the BC Lions protect? So they did a four-man slide. And what does that mean? It's those four take these three players plus anybody blitzing off that edge. So if they don't bring somebody off that edge, you have four on three, which is a good thing. They just build a wall right here and they take the gaps as they show and they can get help on the inside. The Argos countered with a N, J, Q. And what does that mean? That means nose in uh, Jay go this way, and then Smith comes all the way around the horn. So if you watch, Sook Chung is right here for this twist. So he sits and waits, and there's they block these. So you got two over here to take these two, and then Sook just hammers uh, Smith as he comes around. So good job on the zone side. Where this sack happens is on the man side. So I assume the Argos know it. Perkins here is going to block that one. We know Sook's going that way, and that puts uh, William Stan back on him. But Sopic runs into Perkins. He picks Perkins. Serezna's going to start this way, and then he's going to run into this huge window opened up because Sook went that way. And it's hard for Stan back. He's got Sopic. He goes to block him, and he can't recover. So Perkins gets knocked off and watch Serezna. So really good execution here on the man side of the protection of knocking over the man side and getting Serezna home free for a sack. Second sack, Hawley gets a sack here. It's the exact same pressure. So once again, that's the rush, that's the mic, that's the nose, that's the joker, that's the quick end. All right, those are the, how you identify them. But let's start with over here to the right-hand side. Sopic is doing the exact same pressure where he's going to run into the left tackle. And then Serezna is going to kind of come in here. So watch. So this time, William Stanbeck understands it, recognizes it, and he says, hey, listen, if he picks him, go ahead and you wait and take Serezna. So they pick him up. Now, it does leave Sopic in a good position to go get to the quarterback. You see Sopic right here. But the sack happened from the slide side. It's the exact same pressure we just did. He goes here. He goes around. And he's Smith's coming all the way back. So what happens as they're trying to pass these things back, they lose sight. So you see the center... Okay, he basically starts coming back to help for Smith, but he's got the left guard right there. So he leaves Holly thinking the right guard's going to get him. And then the right guard, all right, ends up going a little too far with flow. All right, so there's a little sat, uh, seepage in this zone side. So he should have been a little bit tighter. He should have stayed more and trust that his left guard's going to get the backside. 
And that's what causes a sack. First, it's Holly, then Sopic gets in there. This next one, let's identify the front first. There's your rush end. There's your tackle. There's your nose guard. There's your quick end, the boundary end. He's reduced. He's gone down over the guard and in between the tackle. And they've taken, uh, they've basically taken their will linebacker, Sopic, and they've brought him on the edge of the defense. And there's your middle linebacker. So they, they did a reduction with the defensive end. The blocking scheme is this. This is a gap scheme. Everybody's going to be blocking people in their gaps. They're going to fake a power play or a counter play, if you want to say. So he's going to now block out on flow. The tailback's going to help after his fake. So you can see all these walls being built, and he will block out. Now, sometimes on these gap schemes, it's hard to hold up on the protection. And it's a quick fake, and it's a run action pass. So you see Nathan here, quick action fake. But where this breaks down is Derek Parrish. So Michael Kachur has got this gap. As he starts to go into this gap, he's trying to help. He doesn't want to just disappear and give Holly a free run. He's helping his guard. But what happens is, I believe this is Woodruff, ends up stepping in to help the center, but then he leaves to go help uh, help the left tackle, which I probably would have spent a little bit more time on Parrish because our tackles should be able to handle down guys. Uh, I would have helped Michael Couture. Parrish gets through there and chases Nathan down. So really good execution by reducing the front to try to get a speed guy in there. So good job by Toronto with this Derek Parrish sack. Toronto did a really good job creating pressure situations and maybe confusing the defense. We're right here. Watch Vernon. He's pointing to William Stanback. He's telling him he thinks there's a guy coming off this edge, so he wants him to take him. All right, and and I just I don't know what BC Lions how they protected this, but I, I do know there they, they, there might be some confusion. Like I like this. Suk Chung's here. That's what they're doing on this side. Now watch what happens. As soon as Sresna goes and Flo drops out, watch how quickly Sook recognizes it, and then he comes over to help on this side. So that's excellent. But he's just a little bit leveraged, and what I mean, he's not in a great position to handle Williams, so Williams seeps in there and stops Vernon's feet, and then Smith finishes him off with the sack. But what I can't understand is, you know, so... The line and the tailback are doing the same thing. So that's just why this is a good pressure from the arg. It, this would have been much better if that happened, that happened, that happened, and the tailback took that one. Because that would have kept Michael blocking this player, and then Sook could have slammed out, and you wouldn't have that penetration. But Michael leaves to take this one. Okay, the left guard takes that one. This one takes that one, and the tailback's there too. So that's kind of sometimes when you get confused in protections, uh, you know, you, you, you don't you get bonus. It should have been they solidify the hell out of this right here. He blocks that. He blocks that. And the tailback takes that one. And Vernon's got a good opportunity to throw the football here. He gets moved around off his spot and then he has to scramble. Nice sack by the Argos. Another twist gets home. So let's review. The back is over here. This is. Usually away from the back is where you slide. So those three are going to take those three. So you should get be able to handle that very well and handle three people on two should win that battle. But on the man side, once again, there's a pick. So they're going to, uh, they're going to slam into this tackle and then bring Smith around the horn and trying to uh, get the offensive lineman on different levels. The back free releases, so it is just a five-man protection, and watch what happens. So the left guard gets picked and just follows too far on the inside, goes inside too far with Williams. So, And how you prevent that, you got to know when he goes that far, he's not pass rushing. He's, he's running away. He's running across. When you see that, you immediately got to get ready to – recognize he's screwing with you right that somebody else is coming so he should be he needs to make sure once he feels that guy going that way 
Switch, switch, switch. Now he waits and takes this one. He doesn't. Smith gets around, gets the sack. So a really good execution on the twist game by the Argos. Uh, fumble, strip sack, big play by the Argos. Let's break down what happens here. So let's start with the backside. So this is a zone read where everybody's running this way. He's going to get a piece, but then come up here to help him. And you read this end. And if that end runs down the line of scrimmage, the quarterback pulls it and throws the ball. So everybody does this in the Canadian Football League. But what happens is this is what's called a gap exchange. So instead of him playing contain, he goes and take, plays the inside run gap, and now he replaces, Sopic replaces, and he plays contain. Why is that difficult? Because the line goes to him, and the quarterback reads him. So once quarterback gets that read, Sopic takes a step to get the tackle, and then he comes around the horn. Once he comes around the horn, that freezes Vernon, and let's get to what happened on the front side. Front side, Woodruff doesn't get his hands on very well. Holly beats him across, and then he continues to go. And now when Vernon's set up, ready to throw, because of Sopic on the gap exchange, bang, he gets hit. Ball pops out. Recovery by the Argos, I believe. So really good. Uh, really good. Ex this D-line was doing a great job all game. Let's watch the slide side of the protection. Once again, away from the back is where the slide one, two, three, four are sliding. And here comes four people. So there are four people blitzing. So they just have to continue to stay in their spaces and don't move too far. So you see as flow comes in, you pass that. Don't turn your shoulders. Somebody's coming to you. All right, a little late there. All right, if somebody comes in here, you just keep passing it off and waiting. So they did a pretty good job building a wall here to give the quarterback a chance to make a play. Now, here's the adjustment by the Argos. Normally, Sopic slammed in to him, uh, into the tackle on the man side, and Smith came over. A little different this time. This time, Smith goes in. First, he engages, and then Sopic comes around. So if you notice, right here, the tailback's waiting for the inside threat, and here comes 40, but the tackle doesn't recognize that Sopic's now coming around the horn as the outside one. So whether I'm not sure if their rules allow them to pass this off. The best thing, if they could pass this, recognize it, pass it off. But a good changeup. Earlier they were doing it the other way. He was inside, and he set the pick. Now he goes in first. He comes second, confuses, and gets that last sack. Love what the Argos did with their twist game last week. Spectacular. Six, seven sacks. I don't know what it is. Something around there, but really good by the Argonauts. Talented group up front.